This presentation is brought to you by the Beljanski Foundation. Over 50 years of research towards curing cancer the natural way. Thank you. Um, we have a short period of time, so I'm going to give you the cliff notes on the human body and CBD oil. So every day we wake up, we get into the world, and we breathe. And unfortunately, now we're breathing in a lot of toxins. Then we go to our breakfast. And even our, unfortunately, organic foods have toxins in them. We're subjected to radiation when we walk outside. Every metabolic process of the human body has end products or metabolites. Those are toxic. All of these different styles and manner of toxins must be eliminated by the human body. In addition, every day through metabolism, physical activity, movement, exercise, etc., cells get injured. These cells need to get repaired. Every day, some of the cells in the human body die. They need to get replaced. We use up hormones, neurotransmitters, enzymes, carrier molecules. They need to be replaced. And every day, we're exposed to different types of microbiological parasites, and the body has to respond to them. So between the toxins, the cells that are injured, the cells that die, all of the things that need to be replenished in the body and the way the body has to protect itself are part of a series of different pathways that seek to establish something in the human body called homeostasis. Homeostasis being optimal health, or as close to it as we can get in our toxic environment. And the body seeks to accomplish this every single day, predominantly while we're asleep, which is the reason we sleep so that the body can expend all of its energy doing those jobs, so that during the day we have the energy for thinking and moving and con conversing with people. So all of these different pathways become critical to health. And the better these pathways work, the more efficient they are, the better we feel. The human body has within it receptor sites. We call them endocannabinoid receptors. And these receptors receive signals so that the body knows what to do. The biggest role of these endocannabinoid receptors is to open up the pathways that will hopefully get us as close to homeostasis as we can. That being detoxification, repair, replacement, replenishment, and protection. These receptors receive naturally derived molecules created by the human body called endocannabinoid molecules. Many of them are endorphins and neurotransmitters, and they open up these pathways of homeostasis. So one of the things I do as a doctor that's been specializing in the natural therapy of chronic pain syndromes of the foot and ankle is to look for ways to minimize toxicity and maximize the body's ability to achieve homeostasis. Pain syndromes don't occur because of a shortage of opioids in the body, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, or not enough cortisone. Pain syndromes occur because the body is struggling to heal cells that have been injured and need repair. The pathways that repair them are painless pathways, but they are pathways of inflammation. But if that pathway is not efficient enough, the body will stop trying to repair and it will now protect what it can't repair. That pathway is called Take 
add more toxic residue to the body. Anything that suppresses inflammation will make you feel better, but it takes away the protective pathway, and it unfortunately also suppresses the primary pathway. So patients who take anti-inflammatory drugs have to be monitored because their liver can become toxic, because we've now suppressed essential functions that lead to health and homeostasis. So we know that's not the way to go. The way to go is to maximize the body's ability to get to homeostasis. And how do we do that? Well, interestingly enough, there's an amazing molecule found in the cannabis species. It's called cannabidiol. It does appear in the cannabis sativa marijuana plant. It also appears in the hemp plant. The hemp plant actually has almost no natural THC in it, so it's a much easier source for CBD. And what does CBD do in the human body? Almost exactly the same thing that the endorphins and neurotransmitters that bind to these receptor sites do. So when CBD comes into the human body, it mimics the same endocannabinoid molecules that help to establish more efficient pathways of detoxification, repair, replacement, replenishment, protection, all the things we need to stay healthy and well. One of the misnomers, unfortunately, is people say, oh, I took CBD, I took it for a week, nothing happened. Well, understand that CBD, like most natural medicines, do not suppress anything in the human body. They work to support it. So if you're a patient whose ability to achieve homeostasis is in question, it's going to take you a lot longer to start noticing improvement. So you can't start taking CBD and go, oh my God, this doesn't work. I still have pain. I've been on it for a week. In my experience, in my practice, it sometimes takes three weeks, four weeks, six weeks, sometimes months before people notice that things are starting to turn around. The beautiful thing about CBD, because it works as an adjunct and not as a suppressant, we see no side effects at all. There are an occasional patient that might be allergic. I've seen one in two years, and that's a pretty low percentage. No one else has reported any side effects. So what we want to do in working with our patients to get them better, of course, is do the things that need to be done to establish better epigenetics, like the lecture you just saw, good food quality, working on a healthy lifestyle, dealing with stress, doing the things that establish a better um, uh, physiology on a daily basis. Then your CBD works a whole lot better. Drinking enough water is critical. And like I said, because most of these pathways are most active when we sleep, people with insomnia struggle to achieve homeostasis and they're more likely to develop problems. So what are the effects we see with CBD? Amazingly, it does handle pain syndromes, inflammation, anxiety, depression, insomnia, which is so critical to being healthy. Good sleep is the best medicine there is next to good water. We see changes in the physiology of people with neurologic disorders. It controls seizures. It diminishes symptoms of neurodegenerative disorders. It takes menopausal symptoms and eases them. The list goes on and on. GI problems. Why does it help so many different things? Because when the body is more capable of getting to a state of homeostasis, it doesn't need disease states to protect you. All disease states are not aberrations of nature. They don't happen by accident. It's the body trying to figure out what to do. And it creates all these different symptoms and disease states to try and fend off the problems that it can't manage and can't control. So when the mainstream says, wait a minute, you guys are making outrageous claims for this product. How could one thing do so many things? Well, like I said, if the body can detoxify better, it's less likely to develop symptoms of oxidative stress, which lead to degenerative disorders. Cancer is a big degenerative disorder. Arthritis is a big degenerative disorder. We see patients getting better. 
we have patients who are in chronic pain for years and years and years, and if we work with them closely and we support the body rather than drug it, everything starts to come around. So I happen to be a specialist in foot and ankle pain, but I get reports from my patients of so many improvements all across the board. So the key here is supporting the human body as best we can, which is why it's incumbent upon all of us to make our voices heard politically. We've got to clean up the environment. We're running out of time. I tell my patients, if you go to the supermarket and one aisle says healthy natural food, what's in the other aisles? You've got to really question that. Don't eat the things that are not marked healthy because that's going to get you into trouble. Demand that your local hospitals, uh, hospitals, sorry, I'm thinking like a doctor. Demand that your local supermarkets start bringing in healthy organic food. We did it in my neighborhood by getting people to sign uh, a petition. And as soon as they brought in the organic food, everybody started to shop there. So these are things that all of us can do and we have to do. Now, what's going on in the world of CBD is both exciting and frightening. Why? Because we know what CBD can do, but the fact that it's natural, it's sanctioned for sale as safe in this country by the FDA, but it's not FDA approved. So that means any Tom, Dick, and Harry can take CBD, throw it in a bottle, put a label on it, and try to sell it. And you have to be careful because there's a lot, a lot of garbage out there. Unfortunately, right now, because there's not a lot of people on CBD, the prices are very high. So if you see CBD offered to you for $29.99, I guarantee you it's not going to help you. The process by which it's extracted, the concentration of CBD in each bottle, the delivery system, all become very critical. It's a very large oil-based molecule. It's hard for the body to absorb. It gets degraded by digestive enzymes. So companies that have the best CBD, and I happen to work with one. I'm on the medical advisory board of a company called Canbiola. It's C-A-N-B-I-O-L-A, who have a sound wave nanotechnology that takes the CBD molecule and breaks it down into 30 nanometer particles, very easily absorbed under the tongue. So we bypass the digestive tract, we don't have to worry about the degradation by digestive enzymes. We have a predictable dose and a pretty predictable outcome. Even though each patient responds at a different rate, each patient eventually responds. People who stay on it will eventually see the benefits of it. And then sometimes they'll say, well, I'm feeling good now. I'm going to go off the CBD, only to find that some of their symptoms begin to return. So I get questions all the time. Do I have to stay on this for the rest of my life? And my answer is, if it keeps you healthy and it makes you feel well, what's the downside? It's been around for 40 some odd years. It's been studied very extensively. People have been taking it for 40 years already. There's no reported side effects, short term or long term. So we don't really have to worry. We have one thing and one thing only to understand about CBD, if you're taking a lot of different medications, some of the medications are competitive with CBD for the breakdown process. So we have a cytochrome P450 system that breaks down and metabolizes a lot of different drugs. And if you're on CBD, it can make your drug stronger by slowing down its metabolic breakdown. So if you're on a lot of drugs, before you go on CBD, speak to a doctor who's well-informed, who knows about CBD, and knows how to introduce you to CBD without you worrying that you're going to have side effects of your drugs. Of course, the goal is if you have side effects, wow, that's good. Now we lower the dose of your drugs. And eventually, the goal is get you off of these toxic drugs. Let the body work at its best so that we don't have to deal with all the side effects and the changes in physiology from medication go way beyond the, the, the side effects that you experience. For example, 
I mentioned before about anti-inflammatory drugs. Some people get a toxic liver. Some people get internal bleeding. Some people have heart attacks. Some people don't notice any side effects that they can relate to the drug. But what we do see is patient getting more and more and more comorbidities. That's when we know there are side effects from drugs. It means they're developing more and more conditions as time goes on. Then you're, you're clear to go. Yeah, it's not a problem. We have <coughs> an issue now, and, I, and I've seen this with a number of my patients, and the reason I work so closely with a company like Canbiola is that everything they give you is pure, natural, organic, derived in the best possible way, delivered in the best possible way. Please don't let the price of CBD dissuade you when it's a really good product because it's the best investment you can make in your life. Nothing will work better in your body over time than things that are meant to be in the body, things that the body craves, things that the body needs. We don't need opiates. We have an opioid addiction problem already. We have people dying like crazy. We have over 15, 20,000 people every year dying from non-steroidal anti-inflammatories that are properly prescribed. People dying, f I think we have over 150,000 deaths from properly prescribed prescription medication, let alone all of the abuse. So anything we can do to minimize all of that and get the body back on track and let the body be human again, let it resonate with nature as best we can. Well, when you, if you, when you leave the lecture, you can go to the Can Biola booth and speak to the gentleman there. They can help you with that. Yeah. Yes. Well, if you have a combination of isolate and um, broad, you know, full spectrum, you probably have the best product available. That's what Cambiola makes. So we can up the levels of CBD, but not take away the benefits of all of the other parts of the of the oil. And how do you know where to start like, with the Again, well, you can certainly speak to the people that run Cambiola. They know a lot about it. You can speak to doctors, of course, that are working with CBD, and we know how to introduce it into your regimen. But you can't just stop taking your drugs. Yeah. Okay, well, I hope it opened up a little bit of information to you. I think what we're going to see now is an explosion of people looking for more natural remedies, people getting away from drugs. And this is a great place to start because it's not something that is part of another vitamin pathway. It just helps the whole entire body feel and work better. So nothing to worry about. I think I'm, I'm good with the three minutes unless there's another question. Okay, thanks for listening. Appreciate it.